fold up too. My mom is a Taiwanese immigrant. She came to the U.S. to finish grad school, and she spent most of her time here since. She lives in a mobile home park, along with her two sisters, my aunt Sonia, the second eldest, and my aunt Jessica, the youngest. They each live in separate houses, but they see each other regularly or whenever my mom prepares a meal for everyone. They've each come a long way since their poor living conditions in Taiwan. My mom would always describe how they would go to wet markets after closing to collect scraps like discarded vegetables and chicken liver to eat. Although they've each lived very different lives, their paths have always seemed to cross one way or another. But my mom always tells me about Midori, a club her and my aunts owned in Japan in their 20s. It was named after the middle name they all share, and it acted as a temporary gold mine to help them through their financial struggles. In order to create more revenue in the addition to our daytime job and also to pay off my uh, student loan, we decided to work at night too. And my sister was already working at night at a Japanese nightclub as a uh, bookkeeper. And she introduced me to that business and we, we checked out quite a few places because some of the places could be kind of sketchy. But some places were actually quite decent, right? If you just you know do their bookkeeping, do their accounting. So that's how we started. Like 10 months after we did the bookkeeping accounting, we decided to borrow money to open our own business. And we recruited our youngest sister, who was uh, just like a college freshman, to help out. And we all had to learn Japanese. So we were profitable. And then we moved on to open another club. But then the sisters started to fight because we, you know, we had different ideas about our expansion. And then we went into a cold war for like 10 years. Once I forced myself and my husband to go to my sister Sonia's uh, wedding in Taipei, but we actually were not, we were not talking to each other. And then we, I, then I moved to the United States. My sister, after she got married, she moved to Japan. My youngest sister continued to run the business. She also realized that, you know, it wasn't very good for her to continue to run business the way she was running it. So I suggested to her uh, to come to the United States, right, to take a break, to think about what she wanted to do. So she came here, she went to language school, studying English at Berkeley Summer School and Stanford Summer School because she made quite a lot of money from her business. Uh, eventually, she even had a child, you know, without getting married. The daughter is now 12 years old. And finally, after like 10 years, we, you know, we kind of forget about what the, the unpleasant thing that separated us. And I visited Japan and my sister Sonia was uh, pregnant. I was pregnant with my second one. So I was seven months pregnant, but she just delivered a baby, but she needed a lot of help. So I traveled from the United States for three weeks. I traveled being very pregnant to Japan to help her out. I think that fixed our relationship. But now all of a sudden we live so close together and uh, it feels um, nice that we can see each other more often, kind of making up a little bit for uh, the lost time, you know. But now we have the same value, right? Our goals are just to raise our children to be self-sufficient uh, and also work to save up uh, for retirement so we don't burden our children. 
and also just to cherish the time that we have for each other, because we're such a global family, we don't really, you know, get to see our family members that much. I just think it's a treat that I get to spend some time with my siblings and and it's very likely, you know, if I go back to Taiwan to retire, um, we may still continue to help out with each other.